The door seems to open easily. There's that asshole. So these places are connected. Oh, do you need the consent form? Midori! What's with the scary face, murderer? Alice, please calm down. I know, but... I must make certain about that photo. Something you want to say? Yes, I remembered. I haven't killed anyone. You set the whole thing up. Midori! How cruel. I really did die then. Have some sympathy. Why would a dead man come back to life? I'm sure it flows within you. A vile black blood. Wanna try killing me then? Alice! Don't go. He's just provoking you. As if I don't know that. I'm not some kind of moron, you know. Aww, you're surprisingly cool-headed. I was just thinking I'd use this. What? Something pierced the wall with a loud sound. Huh? Huh? What in the world? A rocket punch. Cool, isn't it? He, he's mocking us. But if something like that hits... So, are you going to consider me a human? If we don't consider a human, we can't consider the other dummies human either. Gah! <laughs> Midori took the hand out from the wall. Just so we're clear, Alice, I'm deeply angry. Even I didn't plan for such an incident. It made me lose my seat in the death game that I was so looking forward to. Such a creepy face. And, uh, yeah, so... There was some implication that Midori was supposed to be a participant in the death game, so that's really interesting. I won't forgive you for that, Alice. You! And also, you're barking up the wrong tree, putting all the blame on me. That lantern. It'll reveal your true sin. Go try it out. Not just on Alice, but on everyone. I couldn't get a word in. He just like walked away again. Damn it. I was so nervous, Meow. If that thing flew at me, I wouldn't be able to dodge Wolf. It's true. I was strangely calm. Maybe that's the extent of the anger left within me. We're all just exhausted. Alice. Alice used Saflin's machine to erase his painful memories of Reko. Did that keep him from falling for that provocation? Is it right to call that happiness? Hey, Sarah Senpai, should we split up and search for clues now? We don't have many people. Let's do what we can. Sounds good. Sounds good. Be cautious, everyone. Be sure to put your safety first. And now I'm by myself. I should look for a way to get downstairs, too. And since all the rooms are connected, there should be another way to get down there. A uh, door to the charging room. And also the victory stairs, they also connect to every floor, or they should, so if we can find a way to the victory stairs, maybe we'll be able to find a way downstairs. They're so cute. I really like Anzu and Kuramada. In Nanki Dai sketches on Twitter, they're like weirdly buddies, sort of. He's always picking on her, it's really cute. Hey, um, are you okay? She's checking up on Kuramada. Talk. How is he, Anzu? He kind of seems to be getting better, bit by bit. Mm, he keeps asking, don't you want to charge, though? So Kuramada can be kind to his fellow dummies. 
but passing around the same charger feels a little embarrassing. What's that supposed to mean, huh? You're the same as ever, Ranzu. In, in a good way, right? Right, Sarah? The hell? Ain't the time to worry about me, is it? Seems he's talking more. How are you feeling? Not too terrible. Seems he's charging up well. Look at this lantern for me, Anzu. No, no, I'm like, not good with that stuff. What? That's her reasoning? Kurumada could please look at this lantern. Huh. <laughs> Sorry to say, but I can't see too well. I wonder if his eyes took some damage too. They look like it. But yeah, the dolls don't... The lantern doesn't seem to be applicable to the dolls. Um, where, where was I gonna go? Locker room? Alice. He seems somehow despondent. Is something the matter, Alice? Huh? Don't speak up so suddenly. Uh, did I? Hey, Sarah Chidowin. There was a transceiver and a voice recorder here, yes? Um, yes, that's right. Alice was the one who had a reaction when he saw this locker room, so I'm wondering if... Maybe his first trial was here. Or maybe are the locker rooms his place of memory? Hmm... I wonder what's the matter. Alice, can we talk about your lost memories? <laughs> My capability to remember surely isn't strong enough to recall any more than I have. Even if it's difficult to do alone, you might remember something while we talk. Foolish. That couldn't possibly... Well, I suppose it's worth a try, hmm? Thinking on it, I never have opened up about it to someone else. You'll just have to put it up with it being me. Ha! Huh. Be sure to fully carry out your listener's role so I can speak at leisure. Midori. He said to use this lantern on everyone. Maybe this light stirs up the forgotten memories? It projects the things we can no longer see. We just have to try. The memory that troubles me was at prison. This is really cool. I really like the color palette and the pixel sprite design. Um, and this is supposed to be a... What's the word? Search and... Spot the difference. Okay. Despite how much I spent there, it's strangely vague, you see. I feel as if something special occurred that day. Yet when I remember it, it's all entirely normal. Is there something wrong in Alice's memory? By using this lantern, maybe I can bring Alice's real memory, memory to light. Touch the right screen to move the lantern's light if you find a difference pointed out on the left. Around Alice's hand, how about this? Could you remember this part a little more? You're trying to make an attack on me, you brute. You'll surely atrophy. That day, I tried to talk with the guard. And now that I think of it, I feel I was holding something in my hand when I did. I believe it was... An article about my murder case. Holding the article in my hand, I tried to approach the guard. Yet something surprised me and I collapsed. The guard... Why did he surprise me so? Hmm, what could it be? That's Midori. The face of this guard watching the prisoners. How about this? Could you remember this person a little more? You... You seek to give a reason to everything. Ah! Uh, what's the matter? 
absurd. He... The guard that day... It was Midori. What does that mean? I... I know not. And yet, I saw him there. Damn it. I feel as if I'm going to go nuts. I went to prison because I killed him. And yet, I reunited him with him there. St stay calm. For now, just remember, don't think about it. Gah. This has the Asanaro emblem on it. This emblem-like design high up on the wall. How about this? Could you remember this part a little more? <laughs> As I recall... Hmm? Come to think of it... That's it. There was an AS logo carved into the emblem on the wall. What does it mean? Isn't that the same logo on the coffins in the cemetery? Please, calm down. I know how you feel, but for now, focus on sorting out your memories. Y yes you're right. Cell 3. Here. The spot below the poster on the wall. How about this? Could you remember this part a little more? Gah. You dare give me instructions? But rejoice, I shall comply and attempt to do so. Huh? That's it. I was making tally marks to count the days. And that thing where you add a line every day? <laughs> Precisely. Indeed, I suppose I thought it appropriate to perform this prisoner-like act. <laughs> That's not really a clue to anything. This trash can in the hallway past the bars, how about this? Instead there was a scarf there. Could you remember this part a little more? Finding faults with me, Sarah Chidowin? Yes indeed. I feel it wasn't a trash can. On that day only... That's it. It was... a scarf? Not only that, it was Midori's scarf. Damn it! What is this? Now that I remember it, it's clearly bizarre. Please don't go on a rampage. Relax. Take deep breaths. Say what? Don't treat me like some kind of strange beast, you. I'm not treating you like that. There's a chain here. This part of the cell bars, how about it? Could you remember this part a little more? Huh. Strange place to question. How fitting for you. Thinking on it, I feel something was there. That's it. A chain. A chain was attached to the bars. How abhorrent. Thinking about it, why am I still the only one in change? <laughs> you can't remove those handcuffs or shackles? Like, of course not, duh! You thought I was wearing these because I wanted to? It could have been a fashion statement. I guess it's a bit bold for a fashion statement. <laughs> Is it? I mean, look at his hair. Um, let's see. Okay, we found the article. Obongos. The slower bed. How about it? Wait, am I looking at the right thing? It's right here. Do you remember this part a little more? Nothing odd about it, is there? It's just a stiff bed. I had no roommate when I was serving time, so I used both beds as I pleased. <laughs> he sounds so happy about it. I would be too, man, if I'm in a cramped space and I get the whole cell to my place. Of course, considering Asunaro's emblem is on this thing, I wonder if it's just not an Asunaro holding cell. But again, they control the cops, so... Maybe it's not necessary to have their own place for it, for for them to store prisoners. No, what? Bongos, bongos. Next to the ladder, how about this? Could you remember this part a little more? What? You're wondering about a place like that? Come to think of it, I feel something was there. Ah! The bongos. That morning, they came in as a gift from someone. Honestly, I gulped. 
I thought it couldn't be. Her face is so unimpressed. Yet they weren't from Reco. Damn it, what in the world were these? Getting sent an instrument. Of course he'd think that. I've remembered everything. My true memory looked like this. I had been gathering information on the murder I had committed. On such morning, an instrument was brought to me. I thought, could it be Reko? I tried to ask the guard about the sender. However... Why are you... How are you alive? <laughs> what an emotional reunion. Happy, Alice? Don't be absurd! Get me out of here! No, no, no. There is a murder case, you know. As far as the police is public is concerned. But good for you, right? He didn't kill anyone. So these are his actual prison uniforms. <laughs> I guess the white and black striped things are really just his pajamas, as I think he mentioned once before. I thought he might have been lying, but maybe it's true. But good for you, right? You didn't kill anyone. What about, this is good for me? My family is a mess because of you. My parents have to live as the parents of a murderer. And Reko, she could no longer do music. She can't sing, you hear me? Even though she loved you so much. No worries. I met Rego today and took care of her. Creep. What? I'll kill you if you did something to Rego. This time I swear I will. Eh? Officially, I'm already a dead man. Does that matter? Hmm. But actually, maybe this is perfect. You see, I came here today to ask your wish. Huh? What are you blabbing about? Atonement for things to for things coming to this. If you sign a certain consent form for me, I'll grant any wish you have. It's called the Asanaro vow. Who I want to be today, Asanaro, tomorrow I will be. Clever, right? You truly don't listen to reason. What are you saying? Who I want to be? You've wrecked everything. I'll end your life. Go to hell! Sounds like a deal. Will you sign the form? Oh, I'll sign it. If it'll stop you from taking another breath. I signed it. That consent form. Midori said flashing the light on Alice would expose his sin, but I didn't see him do anything particularly evil. Or, like, bad or anything that would be considered a sin, except he signed that form, so maybe that's what he meant. We'll, we'll see. I signed it, that consent form. Gah. This was Alice's erased memory. Let me thank you, Sarah Chidoin. You've reminded me of that feeling, of refusing to let that fiend get away with this. Is that for the best? Alice, he seems somehow despondent. They're talking to him again. Alice, a transceiver and a voice recorder. He seems deep in thought. What happens if you try using the lantern again? I shouldn't make him push himself anymore. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. Seems to be carefully looking over the area around the elevator. Notice anything, Hinako? You know, Sarah Senpai. You think the breaker was shut off? In the gallery? So either Keiji or Kyutaro or Mai turned it off? Eh? The breaker for the elevator was on floor four. You mean. someone downstairs? Did someone downstairs do that? Maybe Mai or Kyutaro? Surely not Keiji. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who did it or why, but watch your back, Sarah Senpai. Like Kyutaro should have done. Y 
use lantern. Take a look at this lantern, Hinako. What? I don't have that kind of time. Oof, she's just not having it. Yep, so dummies, it doesn't apply to the dummies. Okay, so we've been to the lockers, the elevators, let's go to the classroom. Nothing to the office. Mm, there's Hayasaka. Oh, this computer turns on too, huh? Hayasaka, you aren't with G Gin? You aren't with Gin? Uh, y yeah, he's a capable kid. Me being around is just super flowers. Oh, but never mind that. Look at this. I found the power cord for this computer. If you use that ID card you have, you should be able to see what's on it. Hmm. Yeah, let's see it. Inserted the ID card. Oh, something came up! The screen says recruitment list. Oh, this is the Asanaro Jam! Report. We've located two promising choices who meet Gosh's requirements. Oh ho ho ho! Michiru Namida Emiri Harai Emiri. Em is it like Emily? Emiri Harai Michiru Namida. Namida means tears. Both are extremely capable, but are treated poorly at their current workplace. Is it because they're women? Michiru Namida is a die-hard researcher. Extraction should be simple if offered an ideal environment. Yeah, she comes across that way. This is kind of like, um, Poison Ivy. Pamela Isley shit. Like, looking all meek. And she's even got the green thing going on. And then, like, she became a, a bad guy and wore short skirts and tight clothes. <laughs> Emiri Harai is satisfied at present. Extracting her will prove more difficult. Look at how bright and happy she looks. Her eyes are normal, too. The biggest reason is the presence of the man she's considering marrying at her workplace. Oh. If we can't win her over, there's only one thing to do. Kill off her fiancé. Namely, to drive her beloved mad. Alright. This document. These two. There's no doubt about it. There's Saflin and Miley. Look at how freakish they turned out. <laughs> what do they mean by extraction? That's super interesting. Oh, uh, let's talk. Want to use the ID card to view the data on this? Hmm, no, we already looked. Okay. Use lantern. Hayasaka, please look at this lantern. Uh, can we do that later? There's a lot I want to check out. Check on. Understood. Okay. Let's go to the library. And there's Kana. 